pura vida, which literally translates to pure life, mm -hmm. simply reflects a basic idiosyncrasy of Costa Rica. Pura vida life is expression of Costa Ricans. Um, it's not used literally as it's translated. It's, it's a positive sentence. So it's just the way we express ourselves and what identify Costa Ricans in Central America. I think Costa Rica is a lovely place to, to live in. Uh, as I've, I've been and I've visited in many of the countries in, in Latin America, uh, the States and a bit of Europe. And uh, really, to live there, Costa Rica is, is one of the best places you can get. Uh, good, you've got good standards of living, uh, universal health care, a strong middle class. Uh, also, there is a lot of uh, culture in, in, in Costa Rica, mainly in, in the Central Valley. And uh, that's just without mentioning all the natural uh, attractions that we've got, the beach, the volcano, the mountains. It, it's very nice. Uh, good weather too. Uh, the people is nice. We've got the pura vida idea, pure life, uh, and yeah, we, we do we do live well and are relaxed in that sense. The the only bad thing I could say about that it's I, I think sometimes we we use that as an excuse to avoid attacking the, uh, some real issues that, that we have here. We just say, ah, no, pura vida, it's all right, and let it be, and. Uh, it, it could be bad sometimes. Yeah. Since 2002, over a thousand conservationists and activists have been killed while protecting environmental and land rights. Central and South America have emerged as the most dangerous regions in the world for conservationists. But in a more disturbing pattern, the perpetrators of these crimes have gone largely unpunished. As of last year, only six killings of environmentalists ended up in convictions. This saying is frequently used and can mask the real problems that the country is facing. It also means that they are happy and will use it literally to convey a true feeling. It is part of their warm culture to be relaxed and not too stressed out about anything that concerns them. But this can be a real problem when taking action with pressuring issues like corruption, political power, the economy, and the environment. The, the, this idea of the two-faced pura vida, sometimes it's relaxed and it's very nice, sometimes it's too relaxed yeah. and we just don't, don't, don't take hold, uh, own up to what we have to do. Um, we, we, we've been in Costa Rica going through a bit of an identity crisis in, in the few, last few years because uh, we've been told that it, we, we're, we're basing our identities on old values from the 19th century that aren't uh, contemporary anymore. Uh, we've developed into, a, into an urban society, but we don't have urban values to get a hold to. So it's 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 tough. It's been rough, yeah. to be honest, as a society. You can't idealize Costa Rica. There's always yeah. people that abide by the law, people that don't. We have problems, even in the area of conservation, but just the fact that 25% of Costa Rica is national parks, public land, is uh, something significant. So, Pura Vida represents the Costa Rican people. If you're Pura Vida, it means that you're a person, that you're happy with the life you have, you don't need to expensive the things. If you're Pura Vida, it's because you are okay and you are satisfied with the life that you have. Every time that a Costa Rican person tells you Pura Vida, it means that this person is happy. Like everything is okay, don't worry, be happy, like you could have had it, you know? I left Costa Rica with a new insight on Pura Vida. And now understand that a simple saying can mean so much. It can truly express a culture and how they view their everyday lifestyle, but can also mask and undermine the real and harsh reality which contrasts to the simple fantasy mentality of everything is fine. My experience made me more aware of the saying in terms that we use day to day, and to be aware of when to take them seriously or not. It offered insight to another culture different from my own.